Hey guys, it's Plutos. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Plutos. I create doll slash toy content at least once a week. So if you're new to that kind of stuff, stick around. Today we're going to be making a whole video dedicated to calico critters. So I started collecting calico critters when I was around 12 years old. Um, it was mostly furniture because I loved mini furniture. The, you know, mini furniture was so cute, especially detailed mini furniture. I had some calico critter sets, but I don't really, I'm not really fond of them as much as the furniture. But now that I kind of got into Calico Critters and just kind of living off that nostalgia, going to Toys R Us, getting like a furniture set, I started looking into the critters themselves and I am absolutely blown away by the quality. It's It kind of boggles me that it's like these are meant for kids, but they're so nice to hold, if that makes sense. So I fell in love with them. I've gotten so many. I even dedicated a whole drawer. I even got the mansion. I had to drive a little bit, but it's okay. It was so worth it. It was a good deal. But today we're going to be doing a Calico Critter Japan unboxing. So let's just get right into it. Sorry for the long intro. I ordered 12 things from Japan Amazon. Thank you to a person that I watch on YouTube that said that it's possible to order from Japan Amazon. I didn't think you could do that um, unless you like went through Zenmart or something. But um, yeah, it says that all 12 are in here, but it's such a small box. So I'm like a little iffy about this right now, but we'll see. There's so many sets from Japan Amazon that I wanted that are expensive on eBay. So I'm so glad I waited and just got good deals. Okay, let's see how good this is. Okay, so here is everything. Um, so I got so many families and so many sets. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I already see one of my favorite sets. Okay, so I'm gonna show it because it's my favorite, like the one I was looking forward to. So I got the um, Sylvanian Duck Family and guys, this was like expensive on eBay, but I found it on Amazon Japan for a price that I was willing to pay. I think it was really, really close to retail. So I was not sad about this, but look at them. Look at them. They're so cute. They're literally ducks. They're so cute. Um, so I'm really happy I got the ducks. Um, what else do we have? Oh, okay. We have a bunch of babies. So I'll start with the babies, actually. So we got baby squirrels. So I thought I would have found the um, Calico Critter squirrel family in store by now, but I haven't. So I was like, okay, let me get the Calico Critter squirrels, like the babies, so they can have, like, you know, the rest of their family but i still haven't found the calico curler squirrels in store so i might have to end up ordering them online um later on so yeah <laughs> their um baby family i got were the i think they're called the silk cats i think these got my attention i haven't seen them in store so i don't think they're available in store at least where i am at um, but they're definitely so cute and I love them. The next, um, babies I got are the Poodle, uh, Calico Critter, uh, Poodle Calico Critters, I think they're called, yeah. Um, Calico Critter Poodles, I should say. But they're so cute. I love the little babies so much, so that's why you see a lot of babies. And I also got the deer, so I did get the deer family from here as well, because I know the deer family is also expensive on ebay and i was not willing to pay that price i'm for around retail like guys go to amazon japan if you want calico critters here are the panda babies so i did get recently the pandas if you guys follow my tiktok you would know that i uploaded um unboxing of the pandas i absolutely adore the cuddly pandas they're probably one of my favorite sets next to the penguins so the these are going to be a great addition to those so here is the um calico silk cat family i'm pretty sure that's what they're called but correct me if i'm wrong in the comments they're absolutely so adorable oh my gosh like i think one of the cutest cat families i've seen like i've held so far if I, or i should say i've owned so far like look at them they're so cute so detailed all right next up is the poodle family of course i couldn't get the baby poodles without the poodle family um, kind of wish I did that for the squirrels, <laughs> but it's okay. But look how cute. Oh my gosh. It's my first, I think this is my first dog set. Yeah. So th this is going to be cool to unbox. I'm super excited. All right. I got this. I don't know what they call it. I literally forgot. I cannot read Japanese. Um, uh, But it's supposed to be like this gardening set. I thought it was so cute, guys. Like I was freaking out when i saw this i was like oh my gosh it's one of the best things i am so excited for this it's one of like the most this is one of the top things i was excited for so let's hope it doesn't let me down <laughs> okay so 
here is the deer family oh my gosh okay i love the like the little girl with the flower i think she's so cute and this is such a cute family like just the way they're sculpted is so unique um of course i still love the duck family more but just the way they're sculpted is so unique um where are they like look at this this is such a cute family if there's a family i recommend definitely the deer family oh my gosh oh so cute so two more so i did get the calico cow family now i tried looking for the babies but i could not find them for like the life of me and when i looked them up on ebay they were expensive so r.i.p to those i'm just glad i got the cow family i think it's such a unique set like they're dressed like farmers like it's so cute um i just love how each like animal has like a kind of that stereotype all right the last thing i got is the cow critter like breakfast pancake set um i did not know this existed like this is so cute you guys see this pancakes the forks like what this is so cute okay i'm back sorry i literally had to like blow my nose because my allergies are acting up and it's like 1 a.m that's besides the point so here they are and i'm so excited i will show you guys everything unboxed or set up or just if i don't do that then i'll just show you my calico critter display so far i've gotten so many families and i'm so happy to have them i just thought i would share all of these with you guys you guys in the next clip okay i literally forgot it's so late excuse me <laughs> i have another amazon package this one's not japan i just ordered this from normal like us amazon i guess um so these are i believe a living room set and a school lunch set i remember so this was on sale on amazon like i said i love the bear family so i needed to get like another member of the bear family guys i have no idea where i'm gonna put all of this it's gonna be it's gonna be something and i also got the comfy living room set um i already have a living room set but i needed a more bigger one for my mansion like come on makes sense right those are all the calico critters i got i even oh my god i just i've been going crazy with calico critters guys but it's so worth it anyways um let's show you guys them set up or let's just show you what i have okay so here's all the critters laid out after i took them out of box and i'm gonna show you some of my favorites close up so here is the duck family here's the mother she's so cute the babies are like my favorite i do wish they're like beaks were colored but i don't know if like baby ducks don't have colored beaks when they're babies so that's probably why but they're so cute like the little outfits the dad is also super cute oh my gosh he comes with a little hat and i just love this set so much i got the deer family here is the mother the son the daughter and the father he's so cute here are the baby deers they are also very adorable i'm actually really excited about these they look like little teddy bears and this is probably one of my favorite families so these are definitely like they didn't they didn't let me down <laughs> poodle family is also very like detailed and textured i should say textured um and i love that i think these also didn't disappoint i love their outfits as well <laughs> the boy is so cute with his little outfit the silk cat family is so like nice i don't know how to explain it they're kind of heavy so those are all the critters i'm going to show you guys how everything looks so far um in my cat critter collection it's a progress because i'm growing so fast so i can't really keep up with organizing so barely okay, guys so i kind of lied again i well i'm gonna show you guys my setup in a bit but i also have another unboxing so here's my setup so far um, if you know or watch my channel, these two were like out in the middle, but I ended up putting them back there. All my Sylvanian sets were like here, but I ended up putting them here and it works so much better. I'm going to be doing a room update soon, room tour update soon, but it works so much better because I actually can enjoy my like Sylvanian families with like a, I could, I could say a waist level. I just have to sit on a chair and the will be fine. But I did end up getting the other ducks. I don't know if I'll include an unboxing. I don't want this to be a huge, like, video uh, or a boring, like, draggy video, if that makes sense. I don't want it to drag on. But I did get these. 
ducks these ones right here these three and they're so cute i love that their beaks are colored um i displayed the ducks right here because i absolutely love them but um yeah i'll show you guys my setup in a second but right now we're gonna open the red country home i believe it's called this is a doll package so let's open the red country home did i need this no i did not but it was literally like 30 dollars and little to no shipping so i snatched it up let's set it up see where i can set it up first and then i'll show you guys how it looks like it does fit here literally barely i got lucky um i will open it and i'll actually set it up when i have more furniture let's be honest i don't have that much furniture to set this up yet because my mansion takes most of the furniture but i want to make this the coziest little home ever that's my goal if you guys want to see that just follow my tiktok or i can make a video of that there's enough requests but i can't wait to set this up and it was such a good deal and it, the lights literally turn on i think i have to just um renew the batteries but that's pretty much it but i did upgrade this so i ended up putting the little ikea thing on top i was like oh my gosh like it's too skinny like i need more critter space because i want to add more critters i want to add like a little walk a sidewalk just make it my own little thing and this definitely works because i was initially trying to put the home on here but it was not working it was not looking the way i wanted it to look like i had to um like close this and it just didn't look good i didn't like it so i don't know i just ended up with this again but this time i moved it on this side i might actually move it back because i want to be able to see my little sweat jobs i'll see but i'm gonna set up a sidewalk um because i do have a sidewalk actually from my little pet shops uh my little pet shop era <laughs> but yeah some stuff fell because they moved the house around in the meantime i do want to show you guys my little haul today i got the reindeer twins along with the reindeer family i'm super excited for this set and the sheep family uh, this actually and show you guys close-ups because you're super okay so here is everything pretty much set up and complete i took out my concrete um pavement whatever you want to call it like pathway along with the little trees i know these are from woodsies i've had these ever since i was a kid so i'm glad i kept them i do want like a green um flooring you know to add to like the outside theme i know it's not technically outside but i'm just utilizing the space i have but i have most of my calico critters out actually um displayed i do have like two more three more families in there but for right now i have everyone displayed and everyone's so cute and i wanted to show you guys close-ups of the reindeers i actually prefer them not having like i mean it would have been cool to have like their antlers be like you know soft but, you know, realistically, you know, antlers aren't soft. So I think this is more realistic. But we do get them in the babies, so that's cool too. Yeah. <laughs> and the other family is the sheep family. Super cute. I love the sheep family. I love the little girl the most, I think. I don't know. She's so cute. I love her little pattern dress. But yeah, it's pretty much everyone and everything, how everything's set up, like right here. They're having a picnic and then here she's like just outside strolling while they're gardening just i love this family actually so much i think this is a limited edition family but i found it on amazon so cute i love them i love bunny families because i i don't know i just think they're so cute um especially i think the lop-eared bunnies are the cutest but imagine like brown or like I don't know, gray lop-eared bunnies. I think they would be so cute. I think they should utilize that mold more. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update, this huge haul. <laughs> this really, I, I don't think it's going to be a super long video, but I have a lot of editing to do for sure. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!